good morning, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time you will be watching this video. I hope it can help you with your learning of algebraic expressions. So, this time we will be discussing how to simplify algebraic expressions. And under this section, we have four objectives. These are simplify products, use the distributive property, identify like terms, and combine like terms. So, in algebra, we frequently replace one algebraic expression with another that is equivalent and simpler in form. So, we always find often or frequently we often we find a simpler form of the given expression so that we can say uh, solve it uh, directly and easily. And that process is called simplifying the algebraic expression. And it often involves it often involves the use of one or more properties of real numbers. So let's begin with first the first objective: simplify products. That's one. Simplify products. The commutative, if you remember, one of the properties commutative property and another one is associative property so we are having commutative and associative properties of multiplication they can be used to simplify certain products so for example let's simplify 8 times 4x so that is 8 times 4x or 8 times so since this is one term and these numbers are factors, okay, of a certain number, so we can simplify it. So, 8 times 4x is simply 8 times 4 times x. This is using the associative property of multiplication, and then you multiply it, and you get 32x. So, this is a lot simpler than what you have seen here above. So, we have found that 8 times 4x is equals to 32x. So, let's signal now. We say that 8 times 4x and 32x are equivalent expressions because for each value of x, they represent the same number. So, whatever term you are using, you will be using the value of x will be the same for both terms, okay? So, for example, if x is 10, both expressions have a value of 320. If x is equal to negative 3, both expressions will have value of negative 96. So, notice the same result. They have the same result. So, success tip in this section, by the commutative property of multiplication, we can change the order of factors. So, remember that when you deal with simplifying algebraic expressions, commutative property can help you to order or reorder factors. So, by the associative property of multiplication, we can change the grouping. So, when we say commutative, you can reorder. And when we say co associative property, you can regroup the factors given in a certain term of the algebraic expression. Okay, so let's have example number one. So, simplify. You can work with self-check here so that at the end of this presentation, you will get correct answer. Huh? So, you can work on that. So, example number one, simplify. This one, 9 times 3B, 15, 8 times 6, 3 times 7P times negative 5, 8 over 3 times 3 over 8R and 35 times 4 5 X. So simply multiply the numbers given and then simplify it by making uh, a remaining number na lang. So for letter A, simply 9 times 3 is 27B. For, for letter B, 15 times 6 is 90. So you have 90A. And for letter C, you need to multiply, multiply 3 times 7 and negative 5. And here you have R, I guess. And the letter E is 35 times 4 fifth X. So the way to solve this is this one. So, yeah, that's R because you can multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And since they have the same number, you can cancel this out together. And the remaining coefficient is 1 and you did 
you don't need to write one as coefficient just simply the variable okay so you have r here for 35 and 4 fifths so 35 look at how this uh, author simplify it so he put an imaginary operator or denominator I mean for 35 but you can also simplify this by like this 7 7 times 4 equals 28 and 1 times 1 is 1 so you can factor them out by uh, arriving at this sets of factors and then working with it then you can come up with 28x so that's so simple simple number two use the distributive property did you remember the di distributive property what it is from the word distribute so whatever is in the outside you distribute them or it to the inside factors okay so another property that is often used to simplify algebraic expression is the distributive property so to introduce it we will evaluate four then 5 plus 3 in two ways. So here are two methods to use distributive property. So use the order of operations. So when you use the order of operations, the rule was to start with the first is what's inside the parentheses. So in this case, you add the 5 and the 3 first before you multiply it to 4 and you get 32. For the second, method distribute the multiplication so 4 times 5 plus 4 times 3 you can do that so 20 plus 12 equals 32 so remember these are the two methods but for method 2 this is usually um, important in working with algebraic expressions because in this example, we are only dealing with numbers. However, when you are working with, with algebraic expression, it has variables already, and you cannot simply add directly the variables which are not like terms, okay? So that's why we use this to distribute the multiplication often in algebraic expression. However, if you meet <laughs> only uh, numbers inside the parentheses, and uh, don't worry. You apply what's inside the parentheses, the operation inside the parentheses, and then do the distributed distributive property rule. Okay, so each method gives a result of 32, and this observation suggests the following property. So the distributive property states that for any numbers A, B, and C, A times B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. So, remember the language of algebra, to distribute means to give from one to several. You have prob probably distributed candy to children coming to your door on Halloween. Okay, so that is distribute, giving one to several. Okay, so ikaw ang nasa gawas and you give uh, something to what's inside. Who's inside No, what's inside? Wala. Wala yung signal. Nag-record na ko. <laughs> to illustrate one use of the distributive property, let's consider the expression 5x plus 3. So notice in this example, it's an algebraic expression. Therefore, you have already a variable here and you cannot simply add x plus 3 if you don't know the value of x. So you will really create a uh, distribution here so let's have this example 5x plus 3 so you distribute 5 to both of the terms and you get 5x plus 15 take note because distributive property ang kabaliktaran ani is factorization later in this chapter so the language of algebra again formally it is called distributive property of multiplication over addition when we use it to write a product such as 5x plus 2 as a sum 5x plus 10 we say that the that we have removed or cleared the parentheses 
Okay, so self-check again. So you can work with self-check and it has an answer below. So 7M plus 2, multiply them. Now try problems 35, 37, and 39 in the practice se section. So example 2, multiply A, 8M plus 9, negative 12, 40 plus 1, and this one. So how to solve them? Simply... 8, distribute it to M plus 9. So, you have 8M plus 72. Negative 12, 40 plus 1. So, negative 12 times 40 is negative 48T. And negative 12 times 1 is negative 12. Therefore, you have the final answer as negative 48T minus 12. Here is 8M plus 72. And the next, okay, uh, I hope you will not really be afraid of fraction work with it properly it's okay so you distribute simply para dili ka malibog then have them individually okay so 6 times 8 over 3 plus 6 times 9 over 2 so look at how he simplified or factor out 6 and then, oh, very detailed, okay, no, cancel what is common to the denominator. So, we have 2x plus 27, okay? So, actually, you can cancel this out. What retains here is 2 and 2, 3. So, 3 times 9 is 27. Pwede ana. However, it is... Since you will be teaching this also, it is proper that you will remember, so copy this in your notes, you will remember how this is done here so that you can teach them easily to your students in the lower level. So since subtraction is the same as adding the opposite, the distributive property also holds for subtraction A, B minus C is equal to A, B minus AC. So, another self-check here. Working with the subtraction. Okay? So, first example, we have 3 times 3B minus 4 and 3, when you distribute that, 3 times 3B is 9B, 3 times 4 is negative 12. However, you need to make a quotient here. Be cautious in this in this uh, example, a common mistake is to forget to distribute the multiplication over each of the terms within the parentheses. Okay? So, yeah. Usahay malimta na ni mo, no? So, dili ni mo madistribute sa duha. Ang isa lang i mo madistribute. So, be sure that you really distribute that in both of the terms of what's inside the parentheses. So, 3 times 3B is 9B. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. That is why mali na siya. Okay? So, letter B. For letter B, the given is negative 6 times negative 3Y minus 8. So, negative 6 times negative 3, that is positive 18, 1. And negative 6 times negative 8, that is, okay, copy the sign and be sure that you remember. Negative 6 and 8 is negative 48. So, it will become 18y plus 48. Take note. And then, Another approach is to write the subtraction within the parentheses as addition of the opposite. So, pwede ni mo ingon ani on pod. So, so may difference sa iha ka ganina. So, negative 6, in order for you not to confuse with the grouping, you can use bracket instead of a parenthesis here. So, negative 3y plus, okay, because you are already... Uh, first, he distributed the sign. Okay, negative 3y plus negative 8. Okay? okay, para dili malibog daan. So, negative 6 times negative 3, that is 18. Negative 6 times negative 8. So, remember this one in our previous section lesson. Pwede ni mo ing anion siya kay para dili ka malibog. Okay? okay, usually, ang atong mali, pagbuhat lang sa sign. Pagbutang lang sa proper sign. Another thing is letter C. So, this is 1, negative 1, T minus 9. So, 
the sign is negative 1 t times, okay, negative, negative, so negative 9, so it will become negative t plus 9. So, I hope it's clear. You can distribute this sign, and so it will also become addition, okay? Notice that distributing the multiplication by negative 1 changes the sign of each term within the parentheses. So, ang na-change is ang sign sa parentheses because you are distributing the negative to both of the terms inside the parentheses. So, caution! The distributive property does not apply to every expression that contains parentheses. Only those where multiplication is distributed over addition or subtraction. For example, to simplify 6 times 5x, we do not use the distributive property because this is multiplication. We only apply it over addition or subtraction. Dili pwede na. 6 times 5 tapos 6 times x na po. No, the correct is 30x lang na siya. We only again distribute it over addition and subtraction. So, maunang mali ni siya. Dini mo i-distribute isa-isa. Though, this is inside the parentheses, however, the operation is not addition or subtraction. So, the distributive property will not apply to it. Okay? So, hinumduman ninyo na kay Basig masubrahan po na pagka-distribute, pati sa multiplication na distribute na. So, that is wrong. So, be cautious with that. So, the, the distributive property can be extended to several useful forms. Since multiplication is commutative, we have, look at this, B plus C and A. So, nauna ang parenthesis before ang Murag coefficient niya. So, it works in the same thing though you are working it backwards. So, A times B plus A times C. So, in this way, you can write B A plus C A. Another thing is this one. So, for subtraction, it's the same. The difference is just the operator. For situation in which there are more than two terms within parentheses, we have... Look at that, A times B plus A times C plus A times T. Notice class, okay? So, distributed property. Usually, mamalita kay sa isa lang nato siya ka value na distribute. Sa first term lang, ang the rest of the terms wala. And you should be careful with that kay sa first step pa lang sa imong distribution, pag mali na siya, all throughout your your solution will be wrong. And the thing is, usually, if if you are wrong in one of the steps, mas lisod na isolve ang mas lisod na isolve ang remaining parts sa imuhang problem. No? Kay lisod, mali man kapagsugod, so na-complicate na. Mura siya real life problem class. Kanang pag pimero, kumbaga ang imuhang giuna na solution, your first solution to your problem is, you know, another problem po, wrong na siya, wrong imuhang step, wrong imong decision to solve that certain problem. So, it will complicate more the problem. So, kung feeling ni mo, as you go along the solution of your, of the equation, mas mura man hinoon siya nagkalisod, you should be checking on the previous step you have made. Kay kung Kung magkalisod siya, instead na magkasayon siya, that means na akay mali sa imuhang pagkasolve. So, baliki sa gamay. Kay usually, kung makahuman na kag-distribute, you will see different ay, like terms already, which you can work with easily. Pero kung naglisod ka pagka next step, that means there is a problem with the solution that you try to make the first, the first in the first step. Ha? So, check properly. And yeah, tama. The same with your life. Pero pait naman hinon kayo yung libog. Imbis you try, you are trying to solve a problem. Daghan ano ng problema. That's because you make the wrong choice. So, first attempt pa lang. Pag pray na daan, dili kay, mag pray ka kay, no worse na kayo ang scenario. Ha? So, mo na siyang, ano, mo na siyang relationship sa algebraic expression, distributive property sa imuhang real life. Okay? So, self-check. Number four. 
you try this again and see if your solution, your understanding is correct in the bottom part of this section. So example number four, multiply. This time, the coefficient are at the back. I will call this coefficient since we are, I know, we are working with the parentheses as one term. Okay, so one half here, you distribute it backwards, so like this one. And here, take note class, you need to distribute this one to that side and this one to that one. Okay, so delete pwede na. Or you multiply na lang daan. I need to be safe. You multiply both this, this two and eight so that you can distribute them isa isa. Okay, and this one is daghan. So, let's try to check the solution. Solution. So, 6x plus 4 is equal to 6x times 1 half plus 4 times 1 half. So, we distribute the multiplication by 1 half. And now, we have 6x times 1 half will become 3x. And 4 times 1 half is 4 divided by 2. Then, we get 2. So, that's so easy. The answer is 3x plus 2. For letter B, this expression contains three factors. Remember, okay, so to work with it, you should see to it that this number 8 at the back part of your term is kind of given um, importance as well. Okay, so to make it simpler, you transfer the a to the front, so it will become 2 times a times a minus 3b. So you can distribute 16 right away after that. So you will get 16a minus 48b. Okay. Next, negative 0.3. Kabisi basan decimal. Minus I times 3a minus 4b plus 7. So you distribute and in the right side, the author gives us the solution for each of the, multipli uh, the multiplication of 0 0.3 with respect to these coefficients inside the, the parentheses. So you get negative 0.9a plus 1.2b minus 2.1. Remember, do not do the shortcut this time. While you are practicing class, do it step by step so that you can trace back where in the solution or where in the process you get it wrong. Ha? So, step by step. Ingon bitaw sila, there is no shortcut to success. So, be patient this time. Hindi nagka ng how na kahit na pwede na mag-shortcut in solve Labi nag mo appear tag contest. But when you teach, ayo pag shortcut. Kay maglibog imong studentic sa mod, ha? So, do this step by step. And then apply the multiplication and you will have this. So, we can use the distributive property to find the opposite of a sum. For example, to find negative x plus 10 opposite of the sum, we interpret the negative symbol as a factor of negative 1 and proceed as follow. So, yeah, opposite of the sum. So, conjugate. Uh, so, it distribute lang di ba ang sign? That will become negative x minus 10. So, the property of the opposite of a sum states that for any numbers a and b, the opposite of the sum, negative 1 times a plus b is equal to negative a plus negative b. So, remember that opposite of the sum. So, pwede na ni mo ni ma-shortcut kung ka-remember ka na na rules opposite of the sum. We have already, we have also self-check number 5 here. Yeah, that is opposite of the sum of negative 5x plus 18. You try that and we will work this example number 5. Simplify negative times negative 9s minus 3. Okay? So, simplify negative 1 you will have negative 1 times negative 9, that is 9s. And negative 1 times 3, with this subtraction operator, so you will get plus 3 or positive 3. So the result will be 9s plus 3. So kung unsay, pas, uh, unsay sign the riya, dapat pag mo sa output, <coughs> opposite na siya. So take note of that. Okay, so let's proceed with objective number three. Identify like terms. Oh, nanay mga like 
terms here. So before we can discuss methods of simplifying algebraic expressions involving addition and subtraction, we need to introduce what I signal some new vocabulary. Like terms, are terms containing exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers? Pariha sila kahob. Mona yung mga like terms containing exactly the same variables tapos parehas po sila power. Okay? Parehas sila karakteristik. O, lahi-lahi dyan po kay babae siya, lalaki, lalaki ang isa. So, di na sila like terms. Sa, ano, dapat parehas ang variables o parehas ang power. Any constant terms in an expression are considered to be like terms. Terms that are not like terms are called unlike terms. Terms that are not like terms are called unlike terms. Example, 4x plus 7x. So they have the same variable x and the power is 1. Negative 10p. lesson last week na nagimo na ikag near pan pero na expire na pangita ay negative 10 p squared and 25 p squared so though they have different different signs but they have the same variable and power. The variable is P, the power is 2. 1 third C cube D and C cube D. So the variables are C and D and the power is 3. Unlike terms, so here we have unlike terms. Though they have the same power, 1 and 1, but the variables are not the same, X and Y. Here they have the same variable P, but their powers are different. So, 1 here and 2 here. So, the report, 1 third C cube D and this one is C cube. You cannot combine them though they have the same variable C and Q. But this one doesn't have D in here. So, the variables are not the same. You can only combine if they are exactly the same. Take note of the word exactly. Kung naga nili parehas, that means they are not like them. So, when looking for like terms, don't look at the coefficients. Consider only the variable factors of each term. If two terms are like terms, only their coefficients may differ. So, regardless of the coefficients, checks on the check on the variables and the powers. Now, let's have example 6 before we proceed to the last objective. Identify the like terms in each expression. 7R plus 5 plus 3R. So, wala say solution. Ayos na tanaw ang solution. Okay, 7R plus 5 plus 3R. So, the same variable 7R, 3R, and power is 1. So, 7 plus 3 is 10R plus 5. 6x to the 4th minus 6x squared minus 6x. Do they have the same like terms? Uh, do they have like terms? Does this expression has like terms? Okay, wala. Because though they have the same variable x, the powers are 4, 2, and 1. Different ang power. How about here? Negative 17m cube plus 3 minus 2 plus m cube. So, all constants, kanisila, they are like terms. And this one, pareha sila. So, negative 17m cube minus m cube is negative 18m cube. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So, negative 18m cube minus i plus 1. You also work with the self-check and see if you can answer them correctly at the last part of this presentation. So, Let's check if we are correct. 7R and 3R, 6X contains no like terms. So, 3 and 2 are alike. 17M cube and M cube are like terms. 
Okay? So, I hope it's clear because we will be combining like terms in the next section. So, to add or subtract objects, they must be similar. So, di ni mo pwede kuhaan ng manga ang bayabas. Okay? So, combine like terms. Di po ni mo sila pwede sa gulo nun yung account count as one. So, to add or subtract objects, they must be similar. So, for example, fractions that are to be added must have a common denominator. When adding decimals, we align columns to be sure to add tens to tens, hundreds to hundreds, and so on. The same is true when working with terms of an algebraic expression. They can be added or subtracted only if they are like terms. So, remember that. Like terms. So, this expression can be simplified because it contains like terms. So, 3x plus 4x. But this expression cannot be added or simplified because they are not like terms. So, recall that distributive property can be written in the following forms. Yeah. Remember that. We can use these forms of the distributive property in reverse to simplify a sum or difference of like terms. So, for example, we can simplify 3x plus 4x as follows. So, balik taro na to ang atong distributive property. So, unsa may common x. So, 3 plus 4, balik tano, di ba? 3 plus 4 x is equal to 7x. So, we use the form ba plus ca equals b plus ca. So, that is the solution to that. Success tip, just as 3 apples plus 4 apples is 7 apples. So, we have 3x plus 4x equals 7x. Now, we can simplify 15m squared minus 9m squared in a similar way. So, the coefficients are 15 and 9. You combine them in a parenthesis and take out. Okay. This will also work with factoring later class. So, m cubed. So, you have 6m cubed. And it uses the form which is b a minus c a equals b minus c multiplied to a. The language of algebra, simplifying a sum or difference of like terms is called combining like terms. This example suggests the following general rule. Okay, what is the rule in combining like terms? Like terms can be con combined by adding or subtracting the coefficients of the terms and keeping the same variables with the same exponents. Again, like terms can be combined by adding or subtracting the coefficients of the terms and keeping the same variables with the same exponents. So, simplify if possible. 3x plus 5x in the self-check number 7. Then we have negative 6y plus, nine, plus negative 6y plus 9y and then 4.4s to the 4th and minus 3.9s to the 4th for a minus 2, 10 over 7c minus 4 over 7c. So you can solve this one and check your answers later. So for the example number 7, simplify by combining like terms if possible. So 2x plus 9x, negative 8p plus negative 2 p plus 4p letter c 0.5s cube minus 0.3s cube d 4w plus 6 e is 4 over 9b plus 7 over 9b let's check the solution so since 2x and 9x are like terms then the common variable with the common variable x we can combine them so 2x plus 9x is equal to 11x. And we take this form to find that answer. This one, negative 8p plus negative 2p is negative 8 plus negative 2 is negative 10p. Plus 4p, we get negative 6, 6p. They have the same variables and power. How about this one? 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3, that is 0 0.2 s cubed. 
And letter D, since 4 W and 6 are not like terms, they cannot be combined. Remember that W and 6. Okay, the expression 4 W plus 6 doesn't simplify because they are not like terms. Next, 4 over B, I over 9B plus 7 over 9B equals 11 over 9B. We take this form to find that solution. For example, number 8, simplify by combining like terms, 16T minus 15T, we get T. 16T minus T, we get 15T. 15T minus 16T, negative T. 16T plus T is 17 so as we combine like terms you must be careful with work with when working with terms such as t and negative t okay presence of mind lang na yun ang kailangan na so coefficients of 1 and negative 1 are usually not written because yeah they are 1 next Okay, we have we are down to two two examples na lang. For example 9, simplify 6a squared plus 15a minus 4a minus 36. So the strategy, first we will identify any like terms in the expression. Then we will use the distributive property in reverse to combine them. So look for like terms. So we have like terms 54a and 54a and minus 4a minus 36. So, 6a squared, 54a minus 4a is 50a minus 36. So, kani ang gigamit to get 50a. Okay? You can work with this self-check a and self-check 10. Then, example number 10. Simplify 4x plus 5 minus 5 minus 2x minus 4. Okay, so we will remove the parentheses in order for us to identify or combine like terms. So 4x, distribute this one. Ayodjutkalimut na. When you distribute, it should be in the two terms. So 4x plus 20 minus 5 minus 2x plus 4. Okay, kaya gidistribute na itong negative 1 dira. Ah. So, 4x plus 20 minus 5 minus 2x plus 4. When you combine like terms, okay, 4x and 2x will become 4x minus 2, 4, 4 minus 2x is 2x, 20 minus 5 is 15 plus 4 is 19, then you get 2x plus 19. So, there are times class when this long expression can be shortened into just like this one or simply one term. So, it depends upon how the given can be simplified. But the key there is you must be careful and be focused on what you are doing because sometimes these signs here can be Oh, makamalik na siya kung hindi na ito mabantayan. Okay, so I hope you understand. These are really basics of algebra. But I think this will help you as you teach this in a more detailed manner when you, are, when you will be teaching. And you will always recall these principles when you will be dealing with higher mathematical problems. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Again, for this, for this section in 8.2, remember that in simplifying algebraic expression, we should know how to distribute using distributive, distributive property. Let's check on, I know, so distributive property and we can reorder it or regroup given using commutative property and associative property of multiplication and when we do that 
we are simplifying expression. So to distribute, to distribute using distributive property, we have these forms. So the coefficient can be here and you need to distribute it. It can work with addition and subtraction. And then if it has more terms inside the parentheses, then you need to distribute what is outside one by one to each term. When we say like terms, they have exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. To simplify the sum or difference of like terms is called combining like terms. So like terms can be combined by adding or subtracting the the coefficients of the terms and keeping the same variables with the same exponents. So you can review some of the exercises under this section and then yeah again you cannot do mathematics unless you hold your pencil ball pen on your paper and do them. Kaya ang skill kay kailangan manihod like just just like playing any musical instrument. You cannot play them kung naga imagine lang ka kung saan siya pag-play. You should really practice. In mathematics, since this is a skill, you cannot really solve them and master them unless you keep on working with them. So, thank you very much for for watching and happy learning. There is more. There is four there are four more videos that I'm going to do and I hope I can finish them today. But I cannot upload because we don't have internet here in the office. So I will find time and yeah, find ways to upload this in YouTube. God bless you. Thank you very much.